Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing a little bit of a different video. It's not going to be any gameplay but mostly just informative. A lot of you guys have been asking me to show you where I get my CC. Some of you guys have asked me how do I get CC, who are my favorite creators, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be going over everything that has to do with CC today. If you guys don't know what CC is, CC is custom content for The Sims 4. So basically there is a whole community of people online who create Sims content for free, which I think is insane, but greatly appreciated. <laughs> it definitely helps you um, create Sims that are more your style, more edgy Sims, more different Sims. Just, it makes them look way more unique than what you get with like what you get in the packs or what you get in um, base game and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to be going over, we're going to be doing some CC shopping. I'm going to be showing you my, my favorite creators. I'm going to show you how to download CC. I'm going to show you how to get it into your game. There are many things that I learned just by like downloading CC and running into issues and no one ever told me about these issues. So I'm going to tell you guys about them in this video just to make your life a little bit easier. If you know everything there is to know about CC, then you should still watch this video because I'm going to show you guys like a lot of the places that I go to get CC. So yeah, if you would like to see how I get my CC, then stay tuned and let's get into this video. All right, guys, here we are. Welcome to my computer. So I'm going to just head on over to my browser right away. And the first thing that I always do when I'm CC shopping is I just go to Sims Resource. This is my favorite custom content website just because I know that it's safe. It has a lot of stuff, <laughs> like a lot of stuff. And yeah, I just I just like it. It's 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 quick. I don't know. I don't know, I should really like pay for the premium version. If you get the premium version, it's like four bucks a month and you get no ads. You don't have to wait for your downloads. You get like a download basket, all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. I should probably get it because of how much CC I download, but it's all good. <laughs> okay, so here we are at Sims Resource. Basically, this is a huge source of CC. Um, there's categories, there are different artists who make certain things like different styles, all that kind of stuff. There's a search right here if you're looking for something specific. So basically what I do, I go to featured creations usually when I first go to this website just because a featured artists mo more than likely have like the best stuff in most cases. So yeah, I will definitely go here. I'll just like browse this page to see if anything like catches my eye. So this hair right here, I'll just click on this hair because I mean, it looks like a good hair. I recognize the creator's name. I have a lot of hairs from this creator actually. So yeah, let's say that I want this hair. This hairstyle has 20 colors, blah, 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 blah. So one thing that you want to make sure you pay attention to is if it says mesh needed in the description. Basically what a mesh is, it's kind of like the bones of CC. Like if you have a mesh, then you can like retexture the mesh, you can recolor the mesh. So let's say that this hair is a mesh and someone wants to take this hair and like transform it to their own. It's just like the bones of the hair so they can like change the color, they can change the texture. Like I just said, that's like the easiest way I know how to explain it. So basically if in the description it says mesh needed, more than likely there will be a link underneath and you click that link and you have to download the mesh first. So the mesh is like the first version of the hair. And then every like retexture and recolor after that by someone different is going to, you're going to need that original mesh to get the other versions. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope I'm explaining this in a good way. So yeah, that's that about mes meshes. Just make sure you read the description. Make sure that it says, that it doesn't say that the mesh is needed. Make sure it either says original mesh, new mesh, anything like that. You'll know you're good. Because if you download something without the original mesh that needs the mesh, then um, it's gonna give you like this nasty red question mark, like really weird look in The Sims and I, I hate it, absolutely hate it. So just make sure you um, pay attention to that. 
<sighs> take a shot every time I say mesh. <laughs> okay, so I do want this hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click download. And with this website, it says you have to wait 10 seconds before you can get your download. So every time you download something, you have to wait 10 seconds before it like goes into your download bar and it'll automatically go. So it'll say, thank you for downloading. And then it should show up right here. If you're on a Mac, it's gonna do that thing. Whoops. It's gonna do that, that bouncy thing and it's gonna bounce right down here into like your downloads folder. And that's how you know that it downloaded. So yeah, Windows is on this side. Mac is usually on this side and you're like your little toolbar. Okay, let's find some more stuff. So basically I know that I like this custom content creator. So what I do is I'll go to one of their creations, I'll download it, and then I'll go to their actual page. You just click like their name right here. And then you go to show all my Sims 4 creations. And usually if the, <laughs> the creator has a lot of downloads, usually that means that their stuff is good. So I love this hair. I don't have that one, but I have all of these ones. So if you like all these, just click them and download them and then that's that. So I usually go through each creator that I like. So this is a hair that I do not have. So I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna go check to see if it's the original mesh. It is, I'm gonna hit download and then I'm gonna wait for it to download. <laughs> so I pretty much go through this process like, I don't know, I CC shop at least four times a week. So it does take a while, but if I'm just like watching YouTube on my phone or whatever, like time goes by pretty fast. Okay, I'm gonna go back to featured creations. I'm gonna see what else we have on this page. So let's see if there's anything good. You just, I'm just gonna go to the second page since there was really nothing on the first page. Also, another thing that you can do, which is kind of helpful, if you see something that you like, just like right click and open it in a new tab and just kind of save it for later. So I like these brows. This hoodie is pretty cool too. I'm just gonna open that in a new tab. Okay, let me show you guys an example of something that you need a mesh for. So this hair, we just downloaded this hair. Do you guys remember? It was by Wings Sims or something like that. So basically somebody took the mesh of this hair and gave it a different texture so down here it says download the mesh below to work my retexture so this is going to take you to that original hair that we first downloaded that's going to be the mesh and you need that one in order to for this one to work so you have to download both i just wanted to show you guys an example of that okay so i have a few tabs up here now so i'm just going to go ahead and download them I don't know if you can switch tabs while it's counting down. I've done it before and it says like there's like an error. I used to be able to do it, but I think they fixed it. So you can't like download multiple things at once. So once that's done, I'm just gonna close this tab and move on to the next one. I'm gonna open this person's um, page as well in a new tab just to see what else they have because I really like the look of this hoodie. Okay, so this is their page. I'm just gonna go to show all Sims 4 creations. They have a decent amount of downloads, so that's good. And so yeah, it just shows like all of the clothes that they make. And I'm not really a fan of them. They're a little too alpha for me, but I do like that hoodie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close that. This dress is so cute. So I'm gonna open that person's page and download the dress. Okay, so this is that person's page. Let's see what else they have. It looks like they do a lot of like fancy dresses. I really like their custom content style though. Like it's totally something that I would use. These shorts are adorable. I don't have anything like that. Ooh, I love that top with the matching shorts for sure. Cute. Oh yeah, I have this dress and I really like the way it looks in my game. So I'm confident that this person's creations are gonna be good. I have this dress too, that's a good one. Okay, I grabbed a few things, gonna download them. So yeah, that's basically my routine. I will go to featured creations, find something on the featured creations page that I like 
And then I will go to that creator's page and I will look at all of their other creations. Because nine times out of 10, if you like one thing, you're gonna like the rest of the things. So yeah, Sims Resource, this website, it's pretty, it's it's good, it's safe. It's, it, I've never had any issues with it. Just make sure not to click anything else that you don't need to click. Don't click on any of the ads. Just don't, don't fall for their tricks. <laughs> Just click on everything that I'm telling you to click on and that's it. That is such a cute jacket. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use that. All right, so this is one of my favorite custom content creators, Selang. They make great makeup. They make great eyebrows. They make great eyes. Um, I use their stuff all of the time. So that is one that you guys need to check out on here. Another one is Chloe MMM. So you just go ahead and search their username. And then their little page, little thingies will pop up. And then I'll just, this is one of the addresses she's made. Just click on their name and then go to show all my Sims 4 creations. And then all you do is just scroll through their stuff and everything that you like. You just like right click, open a new tab, right click, open a new tab. I have most of this stuff, but um, yeah, that's all you would do. And then you would go through your tabs and just click download on everything. And that is so freaking easy. That is just what I do. It's very straightforward and you get a lot of good stuff from it. Okay, another creator that I really, really like is Anto. They make really good hairs. Just scroll down, click on one of them, and then just click on their name, show all my Sims 4 creations, and bam, everything is here. I have most of these hairs. I use them a lot. I use this one so much, that one, that one. These, they're just so great. I have like all of them. <laughs> Another really good hair one is Night Crawler. Definitely my favorite, um, definitely my favorite hairs. So you can recognize, cause okay, all of these are like retextures and recolors of Nightcrawler hairs. Just make sure that you are going to the actual Nightcrawler underscore Sims creator. And yeah, these are all the beautiful hairs that they make. I have all of them. <laughs> so we're not gonna be downloading any of them today, but yeah, that's another really good one. Another one would be, okay, if you're looking for shoes, MJ95. This creator makes the absolute best shoes. Definitely, hands down. I personally wouldn't get shoes from anywhere else ex unless you're looking for like something specific like Vans or something like that. But yeah, that's another really good one. And yeah, that's really all that I can think of on this site. So just again, my recommendation to you is just go to featured creations, find something you like on this page, then go to that person's page and check out their other creations. You will find a lot of stuff that you like. Another website that I really like to go to for my custom content is Simsdom. So it's called simsdom.com. Same kind of thing. You just hit the home page, you see something that you like, and then you click on whatever you like and then go to that person's page. See, I really like this hair here. It's really simple on this website. You just click on things, scroll down, and you see this like download button. You just click that and it automatically downloads. So you don't have to wait. You don't have to do anything weird. Just make sure not to click on anything else besides this green download button right here. What's that? Is that a hair? I love it. There are a lot of like weird ads and stuff on this site, but okay, no, this is a shirt. That's a cute shirt. It's got like lacy straps, downloading for sure. Okay, that's a really cute sweater as well. I'm getting distracted. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this hair right here and I'm gonna check out this creator. Okay, this is Simplicity. This is one of the best creators ever. Like I absolutely love her hairs 
and her clothing. Like everything is just so good on this website. Like here's Ren's hair. Um, here's a lot of like the clothes I use too. There's Max's hair. <laughs> here's my hair. Yeah, just, just really, really good. So yeah, definitely check out Simplicity for her hairs and her clothes. It actually, it might be a guy. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to this one because I really liked this shirt and I wanna see what else this creator has created. It looks like it's a lot of clothing and jewelry. Not much, so we're just gonna go back. So what you can do is you can go to downloads and then you can go to like trending and see what people are downloading right now. Anything good? I like this hair, but it's kind of too clay for me. See, there's that hair we got on Sims Resource. It's also on here as well. That's a really cute dress. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. Chunky white shoes, sure, why not? Ooh, that's really cool. I like that. It's just like a lot of browsing. That's pretty much it. Ooh, a long, long cardigan, very cute. Cropped trousers. Oh my gosh, there's so much cute stuff on this site and I love how easy it is to download. So you just click download and bam, it's there. Then close the tab. Download, bam, it's there. It's just so easy. Okay, so with this one, when I click download, it took me to a different tab. This is like her blog or this person's blog. And I wanted to actually show you guys this. So basically, sometimes things will have adfly, that's what it's called. It's like eadf.ly, this right here. So when things when things have like a download link and then right next to it, it says Adfly, that means it's gonna take you to a page that shows you an ad and you have to wait, I think it's five seconds before you can continue to the download page. However, it's weird because sometimes when you go to the next page, it like downloads something funky and you have to make sure that that doesn't happen. It's just kind of weird. So honestly, m my advice to you, unless you know what you're doing, is don't download anything that says Adfly next to it, because chances are it's gonna download something weird to your computer and you don't want that. So let's see what happens. I'm just gonna show you guys, just because I know what to do. So we're gonna click download and it's gonna take us to Adfly. <sighs> so up here, don't pay attention to any of this stuff on here. Like, don't click that, don't click continue, don't do anything, don't click anything. Don't click anything until this counts down. And once that's done, just click skip add, and then it takes you to the download page. It takes you to Sims File Share, which is a good safe site. But then you'll notice that your old tab right here, where you were before, is now like some funky ad. So just make sure to close that. And then you can click download and that is safe. Just, just, just be careful. Just be careful. I wouldn't do anything unless, anything with Adfly unless you are uh, a seasoned CC downloader. Okay? Okay, so this is another creator. Her name is Ellie Simple. She has some really, really good stuff too. Like that is such a cute turtleneck. So I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna go to her page just to check it out, see what she got. Really cute stuff, like super cute. I love these pants. Okay, so Ellie Simple is someone to remember. If you wanna make it easy on yourself, just go to Google, type Ellie Simple and then look for her simsdom.com one. It'll say right here underneath Sims Domination. Just click that and it'll take you directly to her page where you can start downloading things. Same with Simplicity. Just Google her name and click on the Sims Domination one. It's really easy that way. Okay, the last thing that I wanna show you guys is it's called Lana CC 
finds. This is a Tumblr, so just click click on this. It's like sssvitlins.tumblr.com, Lana CC finds. And this is a really easy way to find CC. It has build and buy stuff, it has clothes, it has hairs, it has everything. So on the right here, you'll see like a little guide. Just click Sims 4 CC, and then you can just scroll through this for days, for days and days and days and days. This is a really cute hair. So right here, there's a download link, so I'm just gonna click that. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't work, which sucks, because that hair is like really cute. Okay, we're just gonna go back then. Let's keep scrolling till we find something else we like. A lot of it is Maxis Match, um, but a lot of it isn't, so just keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. I'm gonna see, gonna wait until we find something we like so I can show you guys how to download from here. Another thing that I wanted to touch on is Patreon. So basically what Patreon is, is you'll see it next to some download things and some things are like Patreon exclusives and all that kind of stuff. So basically with this, you have to become a patron to download and it costs money. It's like $3 or more per month and um, a lot of creators decide to upload their things onto Patreon so that they can make a little bit of cash on the side and I don't blame them, but unless you want to become a patron, you can't download things that are on their Patreon. From what I know, from what I have experienced, that is what it is. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. <laughs> Okay, this is a cute dress. Um, I'm going to download this one. It says specifically here, no ad fly, custom swatches and thumbnail, which is great. 14 swatches and it has a mesh accent. So basically next to the download, it says Dropbox and Mediafire. Those are two ways that you can download Sims CC. They are two websites. It's like a file sharing website. So, and a lot of the times there will also be Sims File Share or SFS. And that is a website specifically for creators to share their custom content. So that's my favorite one. Every time I see that, I get so excited because I know the download is safe and I know it's gonna be quick and I know it's gonna be easy. So I always click that one, but if Sims File Share is not an option, I will do Mediafire next. So what you'll do is you click your file sharing website of choice, which mine's gonna be Mediafire. It takes you to the page where you download and there is a big green download button right here. Don't pay attention to this download. You have to use your eyes and make sure that the download button that you click is actually going to be the file. A lot of the times these stupid ads like to put big download buttons on their ads so you'll click their ads, but that's not the correct button. So just make sure that the download button is not part of an ad. You can see it clearly here. So I'm just gonna hit download and it's just gonna download just like that. Nice and safe. Okay, so now that we have some files, if you have a PC, you're just gonna wanna go to your little file thing here and you're gonna wanna go to downloads. So basically, I'm gonna talk to you about file types as well because this is kind of confusing. Everything that we downloaded today is right here and everything that has the file extension dot package is fine and it's ready to go into your mods folder. If there are things that don't have dot package next to it, that means it's not ready to go into your mods folder. Some things will say dot rar, dot rar. Some things will say dot zip. You will need to unzip those files first before you put them in your mods folder. And if it has the dot rar, you will have to unrar them. Basically what you need to do with that is you need to download a unrar application. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now, just know that you need that to unrar it. Okay, so basically I have two files that are zips and they need to be unzipped. You can tell they have a zipper on their icon. So basically what I do is I just drag these files to my desktop and then I open it up and then you can see it has something in here called dot package. I'm just gonna drag this into my downloads folder. 
okay? So it's in there, it's down, it's in my downloads folder now, it's a dot package file, everything's good. Open the other one. I'm gonna click until I see dot package dot package. I'm gonna drag both of these things into my downloads folder. Okay. So now those things are in my downloads folder, not needing to be unzipped or whatever. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in our mods folder. I hope I'm explaining this okay. I know it's kind of boring, but a lot of people don't know how to do this. So yeah, I'm just going to select everything that we downloaded today. I just clicked the first one, I held down shift on my keyboard, and then I clicked the last one, and that um, selects everything. <coughs> So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do, I'm. this is how I do it at least. I'm gonna open a new window. And in this window, I'm going to go to Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, Mods. As you can see, my mods folder is very organized. I have a spot for pretty much everything. These things right here, they're like, mods and stuff like that, not CC, so I don't really have them in a folder. Okay, so I'm going to drag all this stuff and I'm just going to pop it in this mods folder. Okay, just to recap, documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, mods. And in this mods folder is where you're going to put all of your CC. You don't have to have it in, in um, folders like I do. I just like to do this because I like my stuff to be organized. And if I need to find a bit of CC, it makes it easier for me. Okay, so you guys can skip this part if you want, but I'm gonna show you how I organize. So basically, everything that is a piece of clothing, I'm going to select. I know it's a piece of clothing because it says it in the name. Dress, dress. I'm pretty sure these are clothings. I can recognize the names, top. Uh, turtleneck. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag these into my CC clothes folder. Okay, and I've got some eyebrows, eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put this into makeup. We got some shoes here. We got a dress, more clothes. We got some hairs. So, Amori hair, wings hair, wings hair. Okay, and these things, I had, don't have a spot for them. So yeah, that's all you need to do. You just need to pop them in your mods folder. You can organize them by folder if you want, but it's not necessary. All right, so that's all you need to do to get CC into your game. Now we're gonna go into The Sims 4, and we're gonna have a look at everything that we downloaded. If you're on a Mac, it's the same exact thing. You just go to your Finder, go to Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, mods you drag everything you downloaded into your mods folder and that's it just make sure that your files have the file extension dot package i'm just gonna go ahead and create a brand new sim that we can have a look at her name is gonna be sienna flaherty <laughs> all right sienna Let's just randomize you until we find one that we like. Pretty. I'm just gonna change her eye color really quick. <laughs> also, or no, we downloaded some brows that we can check out actually. Okay, so let's just take that off. Did we download any skin details? I don't think we did. Okay, all good then. Let's just give her some lashes. and some little freckles. Okay, she's ready to be worked on. So I'm pretty sure we downloaded a hair, so let's check this out. I'm just gonna go into custom content and we're gonna try and find the hair. Okay, here's the one that we downloaded. Okay, so yeah, and that's that. It's here in our game, it's looking good. What color do we want? The only thing I don't like about the wings hair is the swatches that they come in. They're not very good swatches and it kind of frustrates me a little bit. All right, let's have a look at the brows that we downloaded, if I could find them, because I have so many. Oh, they were these. Ooh, those are really nice. I like how straight they are. All right, now let's have a look at some of the clothes we got. Here's one shirt that we downloaded. It's 
It's not bad. We downloaded this shirt too. That's really cute. I think we got matching bottoms for this as well, didn't we? Here we go. Yep. There's that new set we got. Not bad at all. Oh, here are those cute shorts too. Cute. This is one of the new tops we got. It's like messing with the shorts a lot, but oh my gosh, this is such a good top. That looks really nice. Here's that hoodie. That's a nice plain hoodie. I'm very happy with that. All right, we're just gonna stick with this outfit for now. I absolutely love this shirt. And then these are the Grim Cookies Deligracy leggings. They did a CC pack. Where are the shoes that we downloaded today? Oh yeah, these. I don't normally like chunky white sneakers. I think they're super ugly, but I like these ones and they look really good on her. What else did we download today? I know that we just got hairs and clothes. What was the other hair that we, oh, it was this one. Oh, this is actually really cute. I'm a fan, big fan. She looks so different. <laughs> did we download any full body stuff? I kind of feel like we did. I want to show you guys just in case you wanted to see what they look like actually on the sim it's just really hard because i have so much stuff that it's hard to locate things oh yes here is the dress that we downloaded from the lana cc finds i don't like that the buckles are 2d but other than that that's a really good dress see this one this is what happens when you don't have the mesh for something a lot of the times they won't tell you too in the description and it kind of sucks because then you don't know what piece of custom content it is that's broken you can't take it out so it just sits in your game forever <laughs> oh the struggle is real oh this was something oh that's really really cute it looks so comfy it looks so cozy that with like oh that's cute oh my gosh that's so cute um that with like leggings perfection perfect comfy outfit right there <laughs> let's see what else did we miss anything i know that we downloaded more stuff but like oh my gosh where is it oh here it is we downloaded this this was new this was that ellie simple um turtleneck this sim is absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna upload her to the gallery once i'm done in case you guys are interested. I think that was everything, you guys. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave this video here. I hope I was informative. I hope I helped you guys out. I hope I answered any questions that you have. Basically, whenever I want something in my game, I will just Google it, and that's how I find stuff. Like, a lot of you guys were asking me about this curly hair that I have. Where is it? It was the this one. A lot of you guys were asking me like where I found this. This is a Simplicity hair. We looked at her hairs on um, Simstem actually. And all I did was typed really curly Sims 4 CC. Like Sims 4 CC really curly hair. Sims 4 CC Puma crop top. Sims 4 CC plain leggings. And then it'll like show you everything and you just download it and it's that simple. So yeah. I really hope this helped you guys out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love that. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.